Welcome back. Thanks for watching. So I know how many of you feel about Ron DeSantis, but over the weekend, he gave an interview to the Florida Standard where he gave a statement that's being purposely mischaracterized by both the Democrat state media and Trump supporters and what I can only describe as the sequel to very fine people on both sides. The movement has got to be about what are you trying to achieve on behalf of the American people? And that's got to be based in principle. Uh, because if you're not rooted in principle, uh, if all we are is listless vessels that's just supposed to follow, you know, whatever happens to come down the pike on Truth Social every morning, th that's not going to be a durable movement. Now, if you only heard that part, you might think that he was talking about Trump supporters. But is that actually what he meant? I don't think so. Well, that's definitely the way CNN presented it during an interview with the Santa Super PAC founder, Ken Cuccinelli, and he was not having it. But there was a pretty interesting moment uh, in a recent interview where uh, Governor DeSantis talked about Trump supporters. He used the word words listless vessels. But I he wasn't play... talking Hold about on. Trump supporters. Hold on. I'm going to play it for everybody and then All you right. can go ahead. Let's listen. A movement can't be about the personality of one individual. If all we are is listless vessels that's just supposed to follow, you know, whatever happens to come down the pike on Truth Social every morning, th that's not going to be a durable movement. Everybody just saw there that there was a cut. You cut from the beginning of that quote to the listless vessels. You just did what the problem is. So everybody who just watched that, understand, go read the transcript. Okay, fine, so you, summar you summarize for us what, what, what was it that he was trying to say? He okay, so let's just watch this clip in full context and you can make the decision for yourself. We, we, we have a strand in our, in our party that views supporting Trump as whether you are um, a, a rhino or not. And so you could be the most conservative person since sliced bread unless you're kissing his rear end, they will somehow call you a rhino. So it's been totally detached from principle and what you actually believe and results. And it's more about, you know, just what faction you happen to do. So there'll be people uh, who are huge Trump supporters, like in Congress, who have like incredibly liberal left-wing records that, that's really just atrocious. And yet they're viewed as by, by some of these folks as like, as like really, really good. Then you have other people, you know, like a Congressman Chip Roy, who's endorsed me, Congressman Thomas Massey. These guys have records of principle fighting the swamp that are second to none. And yet they will be attacked by some of these people and, and called rhinos. Uh, so it's just been totally detached from any type of substance. And ultimately, a movement can't be about the personality of one individual. The movement has got to be about what are you trying to achieve on behalf of the American people? And that's got to be based in principle, uh, because if you're not rooted in principle, uh, if all we are is listless vessels that's just supposed to follow, you know, whatever happens to come down the pike on Truth Social every morning, th that's not going to be a durable movement. Right there. He's talking about the entire conservative movement. And you can tell because he says we and not they, meaning Trump supporters. So this appears to be Ron DeSantis's introduction to the very fine people strategy of heavily editing clips and then repeating them endlessly. Well, first of all, his first point is an excellent point. This should be about America, not about Fair. individuals. Okay. And how do we get from there to listless vessels? Yes. Well, the rest of an entire paragraph, by the way. I mean, there's a pretty big gap in your cut. So he's talking about some of the folks in D.C. who've endorsed Trump. He's talking about the more general environment and referring to all of us collectively. We can't just sit back and take all of this, be listless vessels. We have to move ahead with a different vision. That was not Trump assigned. And so folks go read the transcript. You, you don't have to listen to me. You go read it yourself. Okay, well, good on Cuccinelli, I guess, for calling her out. But it's not like they're going to stop. This same clip's just going to keep playing over and over, just like they did with the very fine people on both sides. All right, not much else to say about this, except for the fact that all states sponsored this gaslighting of America. Don't spend your money on people that hate you. All right, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a comment to let us all know what you think about this Ron DeSantis clip. After you, hit that like button, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you all in the next one.